Monday Night Football and the New England Patriots at the Buffalo Bills. Three-time champ Matt Chatham joins us now. The Bills underrated potentially in this spot here, Matt. If this game was played a month ago, Buffalo is four and a half, five-point favorites. But because they've struggled and the Patriots have been hot, this number is Buffalo minus three. What do you do with that? It's one week of great play from Buffalo on a Thanksgiving game, no less, that I think freak people back in the other direction. And that kind of makes me nervous as well. I think we're going to get a great game. I think there's a very solid likelihood of a Patriots win. Uh, although I'm thinking here we're inside of a score. I just don't feel confident enough to make this a spread week. It's more I'll be, a, I'll be a, an observer on that portion. Total opened up 45 and a half when this market opened. And as you can imagine, sharp bettors have been pouring through the forecast and looking at what's going to happen in Orchard Park. There have been reports of 20 to 25 mile an hour winds, 60% chance of snow, and like a low of 22 degrees. Now, a bookmaker told me, Matt, that the wind is more important than anything else when it comes to these totals and these totals moving down. You agree? I agree, and, and uh, if you could, it's wind is far more important than the precipitation. But wind and precipitation is a big issue. But I don't think we're getting that pairing in this game. Uh, it should be around twenty miles an hour throughout the thing. But where that where that matters most to me is as sort of a wager choice here is I was an over better. Had we had this conversation independent of weather, uh, the Bills have been sort of a curiosity here. And the three times they've played other AFC uh, playoff types, your Chiefs, Titans, and what was the other one? Chiefs, Titans, and Colts. Those games ended up big number 68 64 i believe and a 56 so well north of what we're talking here in other words they got a good oh good d and on those particular days with better competition it 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 aired towards the offensive style game i was leaning that way heavily in this game saying mm, give me that 42 give me that 45 let's roll over it the weather freaked me out on that a little bit in so much as when you get these kind of style games with two defenses and it is awful windy moves the ball inside the hashes takes uh, the deep outside portion of the game away generally, can change the style of what you would otherwise choose to do slightly. doesn't change the winner, uh, makes me nervous on points, but sends my life over the props, and there's a couple there that I really like. Yeah, I was going to say, all right, you're dodging the side, you're dodging the total. Man, I got the itch. Like, the boys and girls need a bet. What do we do? I really feel like, okay, so I've explained that when it's bad that way, it doesn't necessarily change who's going to win the game. It just changes how you got to play. And fortunately, the Patriots have got these two great tight ends that get variable usage week to week. So as, as a wagerer trying to go prop world and choose on Joe New or Henry week to week, that can get a little dicey, right? So balls outside the hashes, big Nelson Aguilar comebacks, probably not going to see as much of those. Kendrick Bourne, explosive plays we've seen with him. Maybe catch and run happens. But it's a little more dicey if you're trying to hit these things outside the numbers and outside the hashes. So one thing to look at is the ball pushing back to the middle of the field and check release guys, guys who have to protect longer and become check downs. That's Jonah. Of the two, that's Jonah. And Jonah was in a 49-ish total on three catches a week ago. Got a carry in there as well. I tend to think if you have to pick one of those two and you're presuming whether pushes the ball to the tight ends, Jonu, based on recent usage, would be the guy I'd roll with, especially because you're getting them at a low total. I believe the yard total was like 16 and a half. So I'm expecting at least one or two extra balls to the conditions. Jonu's the better bet, I bet, this week. You heard the man. Over 16 and a half yards. That's Matt Chatham. He is off the hot seat in week number 13. Thanks, pal.